Sean Hannity's only response thus far to being called out on failing to live up to his promise to be waterboarded for charity was to disparage his own guest, Jesse Ventura, for volunteering to do the waterboarding. In our number one story, somebody who thought waterboarding was not torture decided to put his theory to the test. Chicago radio host, man cow, Eric Muller, who'll join us in a moment. Presumably you saw this last Friday from his radio show, Waterboarded, lasting exactly six seconds before calling it off, announcing it was torture, and based on his own experience, that it was more than that, it was drowning, and it was even more than that. If he was being interrogated using this technique, he would have confessed to anything. We're going to do it on five, okay? Okay. One, two, I lied. Hey! Ooh, no. water going. Ah. All right, that's it. That's it. All right. Oh, oh God. Man cow is soaked. Would you consider that torture? Look, all that's been done to this country, and I heard about water being dropped on someone's face, and I never considered torture. Even when I was laying there, I thought this is going to be no big deal. I go swimming. It's going to be like being in the tub. It is such an odd feeling to have water poured down your nose and your mouth with your head back. It was instantaneous. I, I thought I could hold out 30 seconds, 60 seconds. It was instantaneous. And, and uh, I don't want to say this. I do not want to say this. Absolutely torture. You do. Absolutely. I mean, that's drowning. Joining us now from Chicago, the host of his own morning show on WLS Radio there, Man Cal. Good evening, sir. Keith, good evening. Let's stipulate at the beginning, you and I are not going to agree on about anything uh, politically, okay. so we'll just set that aside on focus on what you went through. Congratulations on Isn't going. Isn't that sad you would say that, though? Well, but congratulations. Isn't that sad you would say that? But I can, I can congratulate you on doing this. Yeah. Let's, so, let's find some common ground. First of all, yeah. Sean Hannity called me and said, it's, it's still not torture. I said, Sean, he's a friend of mine. It is torture. All right? But, but look, you're giving $10,000 to the, to the veterans, uh, the veterans of valor.org. Mm -hmm. So I think you're a stand up guy for doing that, and that's why I'm sitting here. Well, uh, same. So with, thank you. Well, that's where we share. That's our common ground. I think you're a stand up guy for, well, okay. for lying down in that now case. Let, now let's know. go. Now let's fight. Now let's fight. No, because I've got to but w throw out yeah. the legalities and the ethics of this thing. You said you would have confessed to anything to make it stop. And then the, the, the scenario yeah. that everybody who approves of this likes to use there's a bomb somewhere, it's going off in 15 minutes, so you waterboard the guy to find yeah. out where. Where it is, can you, having gone through this, trust you'd get the right answer? Keith, the honest answer is I don't know. Look, if I had information, I'm sure I would have given it up. Uh, I would have said anything to make it stop. Look, you said something incorrectly, and I think everyone has. They compare it to drowning. Now, I drowned as a kid, and yeah. I had to be revived. Um, and I've also been whitewater rafting, if you've ever had that sensation of being caught underwater. This is worse. Okay, this isn't gulping for air. This is, your, your brain is shut off. This is water at the back of your skull, a gallon of water poured down my nose. I had a Marine do it. And I mean, it was good night, Irene, game over. Mm -hmm. So, look, I was laughing about this. This was a stupid radio thing. And uh, I thought I could go 30 seconds. I'll hold my breath. Big deal. They sprinkle water. It is a big deal. And, and it's torture. I guess that's why you're having me here tonight. But why, uh, why did you not know this beforehand? I mean, what, why did you not believe that it was torture? <laughs> I'm, not, not, I'm not denigrating it, but is it, is yeah. it the word? I right. mean, it sounds like, oh, snowboarding. I mean, should we have called it something else? Should we have called it drowning or, or something worse yeah, than that? You know, yeah. Well, I, and I, but I don't think drowning is, is harsh enough. Wow. Um, yeah, I think water, waterboarding sounds like, uh, you know, Waterboarding USA, like Brian Wilson and the Beach Boys could do a song about it. Um, look, I... I see the video. You've shown the video of the sprinkling of the water. Big deal. They said, what was your psychological state? I was laughing at it. I was mm -hmm. willing to prove and ready to prove that this was a joke. And I was wrong. It was horrific. It was instantaneous. And uh, look, I, I felt the effects for two days. I had uh, chest pains. I, I, I told my wife, what to, I have two little kids. We prayed. I said, dear God, help me. I, I had chest pains. I was so stressed out by this. Um, look, I have, a, I have a silly little radio show. We entertain people in the yeah. morning. Uh, but this, so I, I wasn't expecting this. Um, but, but, was, you, you know, and, and even that, even that video right there you're showing, I'm sure yeah. people think, ah, big deal. And that's what I thought. I understand. Until you do it, you have no idea. Well, presumably your listeners going in agreed with you that that wasn't torture. What has their reaction been yeah. to this? Are they giving you a flack for calling it what it is? You know what? They appreciate honesty. Mm. And this is the thing. You know, you and I, well, we're going we're gonna to hate each other. Mm -mm. First of all, I'm a libertarian. I, I'm, I'm a live and let live kind of guy. I don't believe these soldiers were doing it to get their jollies. This isn't like bamboo shoots under the nails. This isn't like cutting off heads. Uh, I believe they had our country in mind. Okay? So, uh, look, we care about, all, you and I, all of us, we care about America. And maybe there's a, a better way to do things uh, than this. 
But uh, my listeners, you know, they accepted it. They took it in. They were laughing along with me, and they went, wow, if this guy who said it isn't torture for mm -hmm. so long says it is, there's something to it. That's why we had you on, because it's, there's a, 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 a yeah. genuine experience quality to this that, that the rest of us can't have, and I hope nobody does, because as you suggest, nobody should go through this. It's as simple as that. Uh, we're out of time. Man Cow on uh, WLS, the famous WLS radio Thanks. in Chicago. Well done. Thanks yes, for your sir. time. Thank you, Keith. That's countdown for this, the 2,217th day since the previous president declared mission accomplished in Iraq. I'm Keith Olbermann. Good night and good luck.